What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. If you are new here and at the end of the video, if you like what you see, if you could take a second to like it, share it, comment it, subscribe it, you name it, I'll appreciate it. If you're back again, viewing a second time or a third or whatever, I appreciate that as well. Uh, coming up in this video, I'm going to do some bee inspection, but I'm also going to take a quick peek at uh, my blueberry patch here and see how they're doing. And then we'll look at the bees here in a minute, but uh, these blueberries, they took a hammering from the deer this year. They, the deer must have been hungry because they, they chewed off a ton of little fresh shoots that were coming out. But I mean, I still got some fruit buds coming out here. The ones with the big bulbs here, they're the ones that will be fruit bearing eventually. The little sharp spikes here, they'll be... Uh, they'll be mostly leaves. So when you prune them, I did a good... I did a, Pretty good pruning this year as well though i don't know if you can see all these uh little stems here that the deer have chewed off i mean they could all had little fruit buds for all i know coming on them but did a good pruning on them some of them still have quite a few fruit uh fruit bearing buds coming out but some of them the deer just ravaged so much they don't have a whole lot left like this one this was chewed off really bad this one right here it must have taste, tasted really good or something because they chewed the daylights out of that. But uh, I'll get a few blueberries here. Not as many as I was anticipating. I got to get a fence put around here. So hopefully we get some, uh, some fruit out of these plants this year. Guess I got to do a better job of protecting them. Very patched now and my beehives are right behind me here. Uh, the last time that I was here, uh, this hive right over here, the the uh, one with the blue on the top and the white on the bottom. I split that into two different hives and I put a bunch of empty frames in there. It, so I'm pretty sure that I had a queen cell that I pulled out of that hive and put into my split, which is now at my house. I won't check that out for a few more days yet. And I wanna get in here and make sure the queen is still laying eggs. And when I, cause when I did the split, the uh the queen i had her trapped in like a little queen trap and i left her in this hive i want to make sure she's not damaged she's still in her laying and i want to get into this hive and see if they're about ready for a split they're pretty active today i mean it's not super warm out it's about 60 and it feels really good when the sun's out so there's a lot of bees flying around here and i'm going to get in there and see what's going on but i'm going to put some uh i'm going to get some protective gear on first here so i'm not anticipating making splits i just I've learned it's better to be over prepared. Because if you get into them and you don't have stuff prepared, you're like, oh man, I can make a split. You don't have anything ready. If you don't have honey supers ready and they're ready for a super, it's better just be prepared for about anything. But just gonna do, my main goal here is to make sure the queen is still laying in this hive. Now a lot of this was fresh framed, I just stuck in here. Oh, she's still here, There's she's up in here laying all over. There's a lot of fresh uh, larva and stuff in here. I don't know if the sun dot, you might be able to see the actual larva down in here. So I know she's still in here. Laying really well. She could be on this frame actually, who knows. Larva all over here. There's a lot of larva in this frame. Awesome. I may just throw a super on here. I don't use queen excluders anymore. I've had more luck without them. I've used them in the past. For the drone, they've hatched out. I've used queen excluders in the past and I I just get more honey when I don't use them. I'm gonna peek at a few more frames here. See what we got here. They're building fresh comb, looks nice. nectar in there oh here she is 
the queen is right here. Get into my hive tool. I'm gonna slide her gently back into here. All right, she's got plenty of room to work in here. The only problem is if I throw a super on here, she's gonna go right up in there and start working on that one. Unless I rotate the front, the complete hive bodies around. I'll make a decision on that in a minute. I'm gonna get into this other hive, see how they're doing. I'm gonna see if there's any activity up above. With the queen. They're cleaning this frame out. Basically, it looks like cleaning out the old stuff. Oh, there's fresh nectar in here. And I think they're cleaning out the old stuff. These were frames that I pulled out of the freezer, I think. And I probably have to get into this bottom box to make sure the queen's still in here. It's working up here, though. That's good. This one's definitely not as strong as the other one. I'm just sliding these frames over one at a time until I get something interesting looking. Now this, they, we got tons of uh, fresh nectar and stuff in there. Hoping to see some brood pattern coming here soon. There's some brood. There we go. I mean, there's decent brood pattern. I mean, she's laying good. I had a, somebody told me to feed my bees, so I might, I'm gonna mix up some sugar water and give these girls some food. I mean, they got tons of honey and pollen in here though. Decent pattern over here. Everything is, all the uncapped cells are got larvae and stuff in them. So once they're all capped off, it'll look like a really good pattern. I, don't know, I guess not like she needs replaced. I don't think she's laying half decent. Just I think you just need a little bit more time. See how we're looking here? Another decent frame of brood. They're bringing in pollen. Very fresh eggs here. This is kind of, I mean, if they were stronger, I could make a split. This one has there's fresh eggs in the outskirts here. This is the kind of frame I could take for a split. She could very well be on this frame with those eggs right here. They're very fresh looking. I said this last video, but uh, the bee inspector told me I got all different colors of bees. I don't know if that shows up on camera. Some are light colored, some are real dark colored. Both of my queens are really dark colored though, but he said that, that the bee inspector said that's a really good genetic mix. Yeah, this just ain't strong enough to make a split from yet, for sure. It's more bees, I'm saying. Oh, there she is, right there. She is right here. Good sized queen. They're both, both my queens are really dark colored. I don't know what that means. I don't, if there's anybody that's more experienced than me, they're really dark queens, I'm not sure. I've had, I've bought Italian queens before and they're sort of light colored. All my bees now that I have now, I didn't buy. They were just from uh, swarm catches and splitting, making splits and swarm catching and moving stuff around. So I'm gonna button these girls back up. Okay, so no split today. That queen is, she's laying good, but she just didn't build up quite enough. This queen is, she's doing really well. So I actually decided to rotate the boxes. I put the, uh, the one with the majority of the brood and the queen down on the bottom. She can still slowly work her way up into this white box. I didn't want to have her up top because a lot of times they like to work upwards. And hopefully she'll just come and stay in these two boxes for the most part. And if we get a good early honey flow, I threw a super on here. Uh, fruit tree should start to bloom pretty soon here. And if black locust comes heavy, that makes a really good honey, black locust. So... Uh, yeah, when I put my honey supers on, I use this thing. It's a nine frame spacer. 
And what that does is, it, it'll, this will hold 10 frames, but it gives a little extra space between the frames. And they can build the, the honey out past the frame, which makes extraction a little bit easier. You can cut the very, cut or scrape the very caps off when they're sticking out past the frames a little bit. So that's why, that's what this little gizmo is. And these bees are pretty, I mean, from being messed with, they're pretty docile still. Watch me get stung down here. I'm getting brave without a glove on here. But, so they got plenty of room. Another thing this extra super will do, will give them some extra room and, and keep them out of swarm mode, hopefully. That's why making splits, if you've, if you've never done splits before and you've ever had swarm issues, I've had that. This helps keep the swarm issues down. Basically, you can make splits, make more beehives, and you keep your the swarms to a minimum. Okay, so that's the end of this video, pretty much. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed it. Maybe learn something, or maybe see something you could tell me about, whether what type of queen I have. And I'm going to try to feed these girls a little bit and see if that helps them out. So I appreciate everybody watching. Hope everyone has a blessed day and a blessed rest of the week. Thanks for watching.